Welcome everyone to another Khan Academy tutorial. Today we're doing angle relationships with parallel lines. Below are two parallel lines with a third line intersecting them. That third line is called a transversal, by the way. One thing of note, you wanna make sure that you see this anytime you have an assignment. You need to understand that these lines, these lines saying that they're parallel, are preconditioned for us determining these angle measures. If we don't know these lines are parallel, then we have no clue what these angles are in the relationship between them, okay? So make sure that these lines are parallel before you get started. All right, now, that being said, these lines are parallel, so anytime we have uh, a, two parallel lines and a transversal, this line's called the transversal in between them, it essentially creates two intersections. There's an intersection and there's an intersection. Those intersections are further broken down into this angle here, oops, 56 degrees, okay? And then this angle that is supplementary to it. So this is supplementary to 56. So we do 180 minus 56 and that will tell us, oops, 180 degrees minus 56 will tell us that that angle is 124 degrees. Now, why did I show that? Well, I wanted to show you that because there's only two angles between all eight of these angles. When you have two intersections, you essentially have eight angles that are formed. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That just happens naturally anytime you have an intersection. A four-way stop is an intersection. A transversal going through two parallel lines, two intersections, okay? Now, when we have these parallel lines, that means we're only gonna have two angles because of the nature of angles being vertical to each other. So all eight of these angles are either going to be 56 degrees or 124 degrees. There's no in between. So 124, 124, 56, 56. So this angle acts is 56 degrees. Okay, now this one. You may have been a little confused by what I said there with the intersection thing and the parallel lines. Again, we have the intersections. Now, what you'll really want to do is there's a video that will explain uh, transversals, et cetera. But uh, uh, what I, the, the crux of that argument is anytime we have parallel lines and transversal cutting through that, imagine that you have like a piece of bread, two pieces of bread, and you get a knife and you just chop down the knife at the same time. That angle is gonna be the same on two pieces of bread, okay? So here, let me just draw it real quick. So you got two pieces of bread, and then you get your sharp knife, and you go like that. If that knife is straight, that's gonna cut at the same angle on both those slices of bread. That's essentially what a transversal is doing. So imagine that this is a piece of bread, those two lines. So 34 is getting cut at the same angle as that angle X, which is also gonna be 34. Those are called corresponding angles. Not that you need to know this for this particular Khan Academy, but those are corresponding angles because they're in the same location of the intersection. They're both in the top left portion of the intersection, so they're corresponding angles, which means they are the same. And the very nature of transversals is because they're either vertical or supplementary to the angles in question, you're only gonna have two angles here. Okay, so now we have uh, another situation. This time we're talking about the interior space. Okay, so interior angles is, is how we reference it with uh, when we have two parallel lines and a transversal. So that's the interior space. And if we have a transversal here, these two angles are on the same side of the transversal. So therefore, they are called same side interior angles. So we have 124 plus X. These are not equal this time. Instead, they have the relationship where they're they are supplementary to each other. So essentially what I need to do is I need to subtract 124 from both sides. So I get minus 124, minus 124, and I get X equals 56 degrees. So these are supplementary because they're same side interior angles. Okay, now this one, these are on the exterior, and I think our, was our first one like this? I think it may have been. So this is on the exterior because it's not in between here. It's not in between these two vertical lines. So this is the exterior space and they are on alternate sides of the transversal. Let me highlight that in just a moment. So here's our transversal. They're on the alternate sides. So these are alternate exterior angles. They two are gonna be equal to each other. So 53 degrees. 
Okay, again, corresponding, we have the same portion of the intersection. Look at the intersection here. These are both in the upper right, upper right. I know it looks like I'm writing your, but I'm just re referring to the upper right portion of the intersection. So these are the same angle. This is like the bread example. So we get 50 degrees here. Okay, I hope you guys are getting the pattern. This one doesn't have an explicit name or an explicit relationship between these two, but you'll notice that obviously they don't, they don't look like they're the same angle. One looks clearly obtuse, the one is clearly acute. So we have 131. What I like to do is I first like to find a corresponding angle to this guy, and this happens to be the supplement of 131. So we do 180 minus 131, and that gives us 49. 49 degrees, and because this and this are in the same part of the that intersection, these are in the upper left, I know that X is also equal to 49 degrees. But for whatever reason, they don't have a named relationship. Okay, interior space, we talked about it before. This is the interior, okay, between those two parallel lines. Okay, there's two parallel lines, it's in between, so that's called the interior. And they're not on the same side, so they're alternate interior angles. So if they're alternate interior angles, they're not going to be supplementary. They are going to be equal. So X is equal to 107. And I think that's all we got for today. Following those rules, you should, you should hear that sound. Thank you so much for wa watching and I'll see you next time.